Hello, YouTube family. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is surviving the heat wave. <laughs> um, I'm reading X today. X uh, 16, uh, 19 through 40. When the owners of the slave girl realized that their hope of making money was wrong, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. They brought them before the magistrates and said, These men are Jews and they these men are Jews and are throwing our city into an uproar by advocate, advocating customs unlawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas and the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten after they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. Upon receiving such orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison, prison doors flew open and everybody's chains came loose. The jailer woke up and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, Don't harm yourself, we are all here. The jailer called for lights, rushed in, and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all the others in the house. At that hour of the night, the jailer took them and washed their wounds. Then immediately he and all his family were baptized. The jailer brought them into the house his house and set a meal before them. He was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God and he and his whole family. When it was daylight, the magistrates sent their officers to the jailer with the order released those men. The jailer told Paul, the magistrates have ordered that you and Silas be released. Now you can lead, go in peace. But Paul said to the officers, they beat us publicly without a trial, even though we are Roman citizens and threw us into prison. And now do they want to get rid of us quietly? No, let, us, let them come themselves and escort us out. The officers reported this to the magistrates, and when they heard that Paul and Silas were Roman citizens, they were alarmed. They came to appease them and escorted them from the prison, requesting them to leave the city. After Paul and Silas came out of the prison, they went to Lydia's house, where they met, met with the brothers and encouraged them 
dan Taylor. Okay, now the devotional. The first step, salvation. After a baby takes his first steps, parents call loved ones. They excitedly announce the awesome accomplishment, which is the beginning of a new life of greater mobility and maturity. In the same way, the Christian life begins with a first step, salvation. But it's only the start of a new life of increasing spiritual growth. When the Philippine jeweler, jailer, asked Paul and Silas, what must I do to be saved? They answered, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. It's a, it's simple enough that even a child can do it. And after salvation, we are all like babies taking our first steps. A new believer doesn't understand all the doctrines of salvation any more than a toddler knows all the mechanics of walking. However, once we are saved, we have the responsibility to learn what God has done for us and to take more steps of obedience in the Christian life. Genuine salvation always results in transformation. When we receive Jesus as our personal Savior, He comes to live within us through the Holy Spirit. Our, our old way of life no longer fits our new identity, and the Spirit works within us to make us more like Christ. Second Corinthians 5.17 says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things pass away. Behold, new things have, be, have come. Has there been a particular point in your life when you recognized your sin and then asked Jesus to forgive you and become your Savior? If so, how has your life been transformed since then? Spiritual growth is one of the ways we can know that we are saved. You can continue your reading with um, 2 Chronicles 32 through 34. Okay. That's it for the reading. I hope it helped somebody. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe and share these videos to get the word out until until i see you again god bless you all and have a good day